What a yummy shade of yellow. Mm. Okay, this... Outstanding color. It's gray, okay? It's, it, that's not very outstanding. It's kind of... What's up, guys? My name's Hugh Miller, and today... Today, I'm going to give you guys a video that you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Right? That's, that's going to make you guys think I'm crazy. So, last night, I was watching some Argo Funk, and I thought, you know what, guys? I'm going to... I'm going to show you guys how to make a Tesserae tile from the Phantom of Venice in the clip that you just saw before the video started. Um, so basically, uh, a Tesserae, uh, like Colin Baxter says, are the uh, individual tiles that make up, a, uh, make up a mosaic. So we're going to go ahead and make one of those in Photoshop. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this tutorial, I just thought it'd be pretty cool, to do, uh, pretty fun to do this for me and maybe not for you guys, but if you guys want to make uh, Tesla tiles, follow this tutorial. So, you, you're going to want, uh, want to open up Photoshop. This should work in basically any version of Photoshop. I, I'm using um, CS6 right now, or whatever whatever this is. CC 2015. So, Creative Cloud. Uh, so, we're going to press New. Document, we're going to go... Uh, oh, dear. Tesla... Tesla A. Tile. Okay, and so let's make this 1,000 by 1,000. It doesn't have to be a thousand by a thousand. Um, it can really be whatever size you want, but you're gonna want to make a square. So uh, I'm making it a thousand by a thousand. So we're gonna press. Okay. So load up our canvas here, and let's say like my favorite color is green. So let's choose a green tesserae. Let's go. Let's go about that color. So. Um, under here where it says a uh, gradient tool if you hold down you can choose other tools let's grab the paint bucket tool and just paint it green so we have a green canvas now um, for me I'm gonna unlock the background here so I'm gonna press the lock button and now we have full access to changing the background like in any way shape or form we can move it around um, and we can really do whatever we want uh, don't really want to press the eye otherwise it's gonna just disappear you're gonna want to double click on the green square or your little preview there and this is where the magic happens this I kid you not is where we make the test tile so what you can want to press first is a bevel and emboss so that sort of gives it a little curve around the edge as you can kind of see uh, if you click on bevel and emboss actually you can change this change the depth of it make it bigger make it not noticeable uh, I'm gonna make mine pretty noticeable uh, just for viewing purposes. Size, you can make it quite big, like all the way up to like something like this. But obviously we don't want to do that because that just looks pathetic. Let's bring it to about uh, 27 looks good. Uh, soften that up. Yeah, make it a little bit blurry, so let's let's go about 5. 5 looks good. Uh, let's go contour. I don't really know what that does, so I'm just going to leave that as is and press texture. This is where the magic happens, because as you can see, it gives it a texture. Um, scale. Let's move this in a little bit, just like that, right? So, we're kind of getting the idea here. This is look, looking kind of like a Tesserae tile. Uh, but however, you can change the pattern to this, or uh, the one we had before, and this, and this. I like this one a lot. Um, but there are, this one actually really shows off the uh, the gradient, uh, gradient, the bevel and the beveling around the corner or uh, the edges. So I might use that one just for that purpose. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I snapped to all of these. There's all these uh, textures here, and I went to uh, rock patterns. So you press that, uh, replace current patterns with the patterns from rock patterns, and I already have the rock patterns open, so it's okay. Um, invert. What's this do? Uh, no, let's not do that. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know what this does. Uh, we're not really gonna... Wait, depth? Ooh. Not exactly too sure what that does, but, uh... Oh, I get it. So it sort of shows you how much you can have, or how much of the texture you show. So, you know, let's go back to Bevel and Moss, and let's bring the depth down... Let's leave it at a thousand. 
the size is what I want to bring down just a little bit. Just there. Okay, and then soften, soft, soften, soften. You don't want to bring it down all the way, otherwise it's going to look like a 1995 pixel game. So you want to soften, soften it up a little bit, but not so much where it's so blurry you can't see anything. Uh, and you know what? Five actually is not horrible. We'll keep it at five. Uh, but yeah, basically that is it. Like I kid you not, that is how you make how you make a test ray tile in Photoshop. And if you don't like this color, you don't have to choose this color. Let's go blue. Let's change it to blue. And have a blue test ray tile. And obviously, if you want to mess around with the settings to make it or give it different textures, go ahead. You can get or an orange one. I adore this shade of crimson. With a luscious shade of yellow. Outstanding color. So yeah, basically that's just how you make a test ray, a test ray tile in Photoshop. And uh, like I said, you can make multiple. Uh, what is? Oh, what? Um, what I'm trying to say is you can make uh, multiple colors and multiple tiles, and then if you want, go ahead and make a uh, mosaic. That'd be really cool. Um, try to make a mosaic out of test ray tiles that you made in Photoshop. That'd be, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. If someone happens to do that, send it to me, and I'll, I'd love to see that. Uh, not that anybody would do that, but whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. A uh, really stupid thing I've done. Uh, I just thought it was fun. So, yeah, go ahead and make test ray tiles, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. The trailer Twister walkthrough is coming out on this week. Just this week. I don't know when. And uh, Her Interactive is streaming Shadow at the Water's Edge next month. And yeah, so thanks guys for watching, I'll see you later. Have a good one.